The Chill 5 is a MIDI module interface from Serdaco. In the simplest terms, it lets you use an internal wavetable module and turn it into an external MIDI synthesizer. Usually the wavetable board plugs onto a sound card. For example, here we have an ESS audio drive and I'm plugging a Dream Blaster X16GS wavetable board onto the wavetable header of the sound card. Most of us are familiar with such a setup. You can now go into games such as Doom, select General MIDI and the music will sound much nicer. But what if you have a sound card that doesn't have a wavetable header? For example, this is a Creative Labs Sound Blaster AWE64 value and it does not have a wavetable header. This is a shame because this sound card is very compatible. It has support for 16-bit audio. It has its own unique MIDI synthesizer and the MIDI port is bug-free. No hanging notes like with most Sound Blaster 16 cards. Well, with the Chill 5, we can use the MIDI interface that is on the game port. I'm using the DB15 adapter from Sedaco to connect a standard MIDI cable to the game port. Next, I'm plugging the Dream Blaster X16GS into the Chill 5 MIDI module interface. And then we just have to connect the MIDI cable and we have an external MIDI synthesizer ready to go. Sadako also sells a range of cases. Here we can see the Chill Box XL. So this is the largest case to make sure that even the largest wavetable boards fit without any problems. We also need a power supply. Here is the one that you can buy from Sadako. It is rated at 9 volts and 2 amps. Even if your sound card does have a wavetable header, well, it's internal, so it can pick up quite a bit of noise and in general, external MIDI devices do have less noise. So by using the Chill 5 with your favorite wavetable board, you can achieve a cleaner signal, but keep in mind that you will have to use an external mixer to mix together the sound effects and the MIDI music. This video is brought to you by PCBWay, our channel sponsor. Your one-stop shop for printed circuit boards manufacturing and assembly, but also CNC machining, 3D printing and more. Check the video description for links and more information. Let's take a closer look at the board. Here we can see all the components on the board. And the Chill 5, it has a few optional upgrades like this Berg connector. If you want to use the MacCake wavetable board with the Chill 5, then make sure you get this upgrade because it supplies power to the MacCake. This is the wavetable header and there is a diagram to make sure that you insert it the right way. On the right side we have the power connector. So this is where you plug in the power supply. And then we can see four RCA connectors. The two on the right are for the audio outputs. One for left and one for the right channel. The two ports on the left side, these are optional. So you need to select that upgrade when you place the order. These are inputs and specifically for those of you that want to use the Yamaha DB60XG or the NEC XR385 wavetable boards. There are also headers for audio out and audio in. Here we have the standard MIDI port which connects to the sound card. Now you can also use the Chill 5 with a modern PC through a USB MIDI adapter. And this lets you use your wavetable board in programs such as DOSBox, ScumVM, or just in a media player to listen to MIDI files. Here we can see the reset button to reset the unit while it's running. And we have two LEDs. One is for power and the other one for MIDI activity. We can see two more 
headers. One is for MIDI out and the other one for MIDI through. And finally, there's a big block of dip switches. This is very nifty. Here you can basically configure the volume because some wavetable boards are very loud. So in that case, you can lower the volume so that the uh, audio signal doesn't clip. There are three settings, high, medium, and low. Here we are on the Chill5 product page. So let's have a look at the prices and options. You're looking at 55 euros for the Chill5, but there are quite a few upgrades. So if you want to use it with the Mac Cake, make sure you select this option here. Then you get the Berg connector and also the little cable that connects into the power input of the Mac Cake. If you're using a Yamaha DB60XG or an NEC XR385 and you want to use the audio inputs, select this option and then uh, search will solder two RCA connectors on uh, the board for you. Power supply, you definitely want to select this option. Maybe you want a MIDI cable, different options. Maybe you need several, let's just select one. And then we have some bundles. Maybe you want to pick up a wavetable board as a bundle, save a bit of money. So check out these, these bundles, these promotions here. And then we have two options for the case, medium and XL. I showcased the XL version for larger wavetable boards. If in doubt, contact Search through the website and ask him which um, option is suitable for your wavetable board or maybe you can measure it and then he will give you an answer. If you're not sure, get the Excel version, then you are guaranteed that it will fit. So that was a look at the Chill 5 MIDI module interface, letting you use an internal wavetable board and converting it into an external MIDI synthesizer. For using it with sound cards that don't have a wavetable interface or to improve the signal quality because when you plug in a wavetable board into the sound card, it can pick up a bit of noise. Any questions, leave them down below and don't forget any purchases from Sedaco, we have a 5% discount coupon for you to use. And that's it for me. Thank you so much for watching and I shall see you soon with another one.